Often symbiosis really means um, close association, which may begin with a parasitism, but then later becomes uh, mutualistic. So in my lab, I study several systems that involve both symbiosis as well as mutualism and parasitism. But in this uh, conference, uh, and I was invited to talk about uh, one particular system, which is a system involving the mutualism and symbiosis between uh, the fig tree and its associated pollinating fig wasps. The fig and fig wasp system is very old. It's believed to have evolved around uh, somewhere around 80 million years ago. So from 80 million years, the fig and the fig wasp have been very closely associated. So the fig symbiosis is all about figs developing nurseries for fig wasps. So the fig wasps enter these nurseries, which are enclosed in fluorescences, and uh, they pollinate the fig flowers within this, these nurseries, and uh, also develop eggs of, I mean, the wasps lay eggs within these nurseries. So therefore, it is a nursery pollination mutualism. Uh, what's special about this mutualism is that it is highly species specific and very obligate. And because it's obligate, so there are about over 800 species of fig trees in the world today, which are largely within the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. And of these seven or 800 species of figs, uh, most usually every species of fig, with very few exceptions, have their own specific species of pollinating fig wasps. Which means therefore that this tree and this tiny fig wasp are very intimately associated. The wasp breeds inside the fig and the wasp helps the fig to produce seeds. And the wasp cannot breed anywhere else in any other tree species, which means that this relationship is very, very tight. Symbiosis, the process of symbiosis, is a generator of biological diversity. Yes? Uh, simple way to understand this, we ha have millions of cells in our body. Within every cell in our body, we have an organelle called the mitochondrion. Mm -hmm. The mitochondrion is a symbiotic organism. It evolved as a symbiotic organism, which got incorporated into another organism. So now you had a joint organism that was built and that formed, you know, the first eukaryotic cell. And from that first eukaryotic cell, you had a proliferation of life on Earth. So we now know that symbiosis generates biological diversity. So similarly, in the fig and fig wasp system, it is a generator of biological diversity because the fig tree and its wasp pollinating wasp, has many other taxa like parasitic wasps, nematodes, ants, seed dispersal agents, etc., etc., all of which are developing within this microcosm. 